Hello again. Hope you've been enjoying this this little series um, that we're covering a few sentences of each chapters of the book of uh, Secrets of How to Become a Super Salesman, Armed, Powered, and Poised. And um, today we're going to be talking about um, things that you want to say. Uh, what things to say? What to say when calling for an appointment on the phone? What to say when you're calling on the appointment? Uh, calling for an appointment on the phone. So far, we have covered. If chapter for chapter one, which not covered, just um, made a little couple of uh, sentence description of the of what is uh, covered and included in chapter one. Uh, that was uh, sales, the game, the rules, and the players. Chapter one, chapter two, uh, appointments and how to get them. Uh, chapter three, how to handle objections while getting the appointments on the phone or in person. Uh, and uh, chapter four, secretaries and how to conduct yourself when calling on your client. Um, then chapter five, uh, why people buy, and chapter six today, uh, we have a couple of sentences for that, and that is uh, what to say when calling for an appointment on the phone. Of course, uh, we are just um, hinting at what is included in the chapters for your um, better uh, familiarity with the, with the book, and then you can go to www. Um, MaximumWillpower.com and you can put your name and your email uh, in that uh, little offering and uh, a copy of the table of contents will be sent to you immediately of course free uh, for you to take a look and see what are these uh, 30 chapters of the book and then uh, 20 uh, different tips on the tip section uh, directly related to sales um, are like and then if you like it then you will go on and continue on that same site and then you will purchase the book for a complete uh, training and understanding of uh, how to become a better and a super salesman. Uh, on this particular day, time, chapter, um, basically the key point to um, um, what to say when calling for an appointment, of course beside all the uh, regular uh, customary things, uh, you will which you will introduce yourself and you will make sure that you're not calling at the wrong time and you're calling at the right time and uh, you don't make the guessing game who do you think I am well, you know hello uh, who's this well who do you think it is and none of them can just <laughs> properly present and uh, respectfully introduce yourself especially if you don't know them <laughs> and, and um, but however the key point is this get the appointment but don't spill the beans get the appointment but don't spill the beans uh, and the, in this chapter, it covers the techniques that how you can get the appointment without having to tell them what it is that you want to talk about exactly, uh, unless you really, really have to. You try to, uh, in general, get an appointment. Your purpose of calling is making an appointment. It's not to tell them why you want the appointment for uh, in specific ways. Um, it can be, you know, generally speaking, about there's an opportunity or there's a product or there's whatever. It can help your cash flow. It can help your, uh, you know, security portfolio or whatever it is that you want to say but you don't want to actually spill the beans because if you do then you get into a different part of the conversation and that uh, you know the appointment is taking place without you really <laughs> having to make for it and that's not your intention your intention is to make an appointment that's what you want to stick with so that's what we wanted to uh, hint on uh, what uh, this chapter will be will be uh, covering and uh, the next chapter will be I think chapter 7 will be covering it will be talking about uh, what games your your brain plays what game your brain plays when you are dialing the prospect and how to overcome them we all know that our game our, our brain is a little bit funny and we'll talk about that next time in the meantime remember www.maximumwillpower.com Write your name and email and get a free copy of the table of contents and then judge for yourself if that's a book for you. And then you can go ahead and purchase the book and then you have the complete collection of the book and you don't have to wait for me to cover a few sentences of each chapter. Have a nice day or evening and hope to talk to you soon.